So you're looking at your frame rails the other day. All right, so now we get a little better look at some of these booger welds. Let's see. We're checking for penetration here, and I don't think there was enough, which is why I went ahead and just cut it. I wasn't real happy with these anyway, but uh, come on. Sorry, guys. Shaky old dude here. There you go. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. That's a bit better, but still. All right, so now that they're shorter, we should be able to see in there pretty good. But more importantly, I just wanted to see how the corners looked uh, to see if I had made enough material to round them off. And uh, I did not. Just in that one the corner there, it looks okay, and down here it looks okay, but up here, got a pretty thin spot there, got a pretty thin spot there, like a really thin spot there. So, um, yeah, not good, but what is good, I think I did a pretty good ground on these radiuses in there, grinding these radiuses in there. Um, those look pretty good. That's the other piece of it here. Eh. There, let's get some... So yeah, as you can see, those two don't look bad, but that does and that does. So yeah, it was a good thing we pulled it apart. I think that was probably cracked right there, right in this corner. Because when I was grinding it, it seemed like it was lining dust up in a way that it would with a Magnaflex machine. Uh, and it looked like there was a line here. And that now that I can see how deep that little crack is there, there is a crack there. I'm sure there is. All right, so the frame rails are garbage, right? Well, they're not garbage, but they're not good. So we're not going to use them. We're just going to cut those pieces off I made on the ends, and we'll use them for other stuff around the shop. You can always use metal no matter how small the piece is. I mean, I keep it all. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it allowed me to do something, though, which is redesign this whole frame rail idea and maybe make a much stronger junction between the uh, middle of the frame and the rear rails. So uh, let's show you what we came up with. So as you can see, we've been doing a little more work to our blueprint. And uh, what I've decided to do here is redo the way I'm approaching this. My original intent was to just bring this down like this, weld this to it maybe. Um, I wasn't sure how I was gonna intersect all this with the bracket and whatnot on the back and blah, blah, blah. The original design, it just came straight down like this and this just teed into it. And that's not a super strong junction. Uh, so what I decided to do instead is I'm gonna make this piece here out of a sheet of eighth inch steel, I make two of them, and then I just gotta fill in the, you know, the two inches on the top and the bottom. But I'm just gonna make this out of eighth inch steel, and in order to make sure it stays strong, I have come up with a couple of gusset designs as well. Let me go ahead and uh, pop this bracket off of there. So on the inside of the frame, I'm gonna have a cross member that's two by three um, that attaches here on this corner. And in order to accommodate that, we're doing something basically like so. I'm gonna go ahead and do this fish plate gusset. And what that's gonna do is tie this pig piece here into the two by four tubing that's gonna go here and the two by three tubing coming off up here. So the problem I have is this big piece I'm making out of plate is a pretty big piece. It's pretty large side profile. Like across here is a long distance, right? Across here is a long distance. So that's a lot of unsupported area, and uh, I don't want any flex in the chassis. Um, I'm trying to save weight, so I don't want to go crazy, but uh, 
we're going to do it like this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do them on the inside and the outside, but the plan at the moment is to do both the inside of the frame and the outside of this junction. So the way this is going to work is because I can now weld across here, that supports this area a little more. And then I'll weld across here and that'll actually go across the weld seam and grab both sides of it. So even if that seam developed a crack or something, this piece should theoretically hold it together because again, we're coming across the weld seam on the outside and all the way around here. So uh, it'll be perimeter welded and each of these holes will be welded on the inside and that should support the center of this much better, give us a lot of strength. And then on the outside of the frame where we're not attaching anything, we're just being decorative, we're going to do it like so. There you go. So that's the plan at the moment. Um, now all I gotta do is make these things. And something I failed to mention, you guys might have noticed, is there's a eighth inch of extra space here on either side um, that I've got a line on and these little divots. The plan was if this was going to go to like a laser cutter or something, you would want them to put these little divots on there uh, to help line everything up like fingers when you're putting the pieces together. Um, but I'm not doing it laser cut, I'm doing my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to this inside edge, which is an eighth inch shorter on either side. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when we put the pieces together, I've got a nice trough to weld into, you know, instead of uh, if I try to do it like this, you know, I don't have anything to weld to. I want to make sure I don't have any more penetration issues like last time. So uh, I learned from my mistakes and we're going to do a little cleaner job this time. Before we can actually make these things out of metal, I have to take that really thin, easy to mess up tracing paper and I have to transfer it onto something more substantial to make a pattern. What I like to use is comic book backing boards. These are a really nice thick like poster board. Um, I just happen to have a bunch, so that's what I use. And uh, fortunately though, a couple of our patterns are too big, so we're gonna use a file folder for those. And uh, this is easier to cut, but uh, they both work. But anyway, just letting you know what we're using. All right, so there it is. Uh, yeah, whoopie do, right? For any of you who don't realize just how much dust goes into the air when you're cutting metal, that's why you gotta wear a mask. Let's turn that like that to help illustrate a little better. There we go. Lines up perfectly. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Three more of those. We've got them all roughed up. 
and clamp together. The second one down is our guide. That's the one that's the perfect size. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit that with some black magic marker. So as we're grinding the other ones down, we can know when it hits that guide. I wonder, I can't see anything I'm doing. Put the wrong spectacles on. Ah, now I can see what I'm doing. Much better, okay. There it is, ready for belt sanding. Have to give credit where credit's due. This was an idea from Bear Rose Garage. Uh, he watched one of our older videos when we made the frame or uh, the brackets. That's right, when I made my ladder bar mounting uh, brackets. He suggested that instead of clamping, to do all my hole drilling and whatnot, that it just weld the stack together. And you know what? He's right. So thanks a bunch, Kim. Appreciate it. Well, I'm filthy and my hands are vibrating from all that grinding and cutting, but we got our plates made for the sides. Now I have to just make the strips and connect them together, remove the mill scale, but I can't weld them up right now because I accidentally left the bottle on and it leaked out all the gas. So I got to go to the store tomorrow and get some uh, argon mix because uh, we have a special guest this weekend. We're going to do some work for him. We're going to need that welder. So, um, hey, thanks so much for watching. You know, hey, it was a step backwards uh, having to uh, get rid of those frame rails, but I never liked them. That's why you haven't heard about them in a while. I've been thinking about it. And uh, once I got a good look at them, I decided to just cut them open and start over. Well, we came up with a better idea anyway. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until then, take care of yourselves.